Extracorporeal life support is an advanced form of support where blood is pumped outside of the body through a machine for oxygenation and then returned to circulation. Respiratory therapists are often involved in this type of therapy, which means that it is an important topic to learn about. And that is exactly why we made this quick video to help. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is extracorporeal life support? It's a form of therapy that is used for providing cardiac and respiratory support to patients who are unable to perform gas exchange or perfusion on their own. It involves pumping blood out of the body into a machine where oxygenation takes place. Then the blood can be pumped back into the body for circulation. This is considered to be a very serious type of therapy that should only be used in life-threatening situations where conventional forms of treatment were unsuccessful. Here is a list of the types of extracorporeal life support that you should be familiar with. The most well-known type is ECMO, or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Then you have veno-arterial and veno-venous, which are technically the two types of ECMO. And lastly, there is extracorporeal CO2 removal. So now let's talk about ECMO, which again stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. As we mentioned, it's the most common type of extracorporeal life support that involves pumping blood out of the body through a membrane for the gas exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. It can be used for the management of severe, life-threatening respiratory failure or cardiogenic shock in patients who have not responded well to conventional forms of therapy. Respiratory therapists are often involved with this type of treatment, although state licensure laws may limit their involvement in some states. So now let's talk more about the two types. First, there is veno-arterial extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It's a type where venous blood is drained from the patient and ran through a machine for oxygenation. The blood becomes saturated with oxygen and can be returned to the patient's body via arterial circulation. This type of ECMO is typically used in patients with cardiovascular failure, and it should be noted that this type does provide hemodynamic support. It's most commonly indicated for the treatment of cardiogenic shock. Then there is venovenous extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It's another type of support where venous blood is drained from the patient and ran through the machine for gas exchange. However, with this type of support, the blood is returned to the patient's body via venous circulation. This type of ECMO is typically indicated for the treatment of acute respiratory failure that is due to viral or bacterial pneumonia. Unlike veno-arterial ECMO, veno-venous ECMO provides no hemodynamic support. Again, extracorporeal life support is a very serious therapeutic measure that should only be used in severe cases where other conventional treatment methods were unsuccessful. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.